creation you had before with the angels oh, okay. and, and the cherubim and the seraphim. Um, obviously, there are other creatures right. in the universe, yeah. but we're it as far as the only species of humanity right. that there is. Uh, now, the body of Christ is a new species of humanity, you know, uh, that one day, and we'll be, actually, we'll be the only species of humanity because the others that are not saved will be destroyed. Uh, so the body of Christ, uh, those, you know, will be a, an entirely decrease, you know, as far as humanity, a new species of humanity, we're it. Uh, now, there are, you know, when there are things about, you know, uh, the sectanic cults. Now, where are they at? And that was my question. That yeah. would be my next question because here, Earth was here. Earth is here, mm -hmm. and then Satan is on Earth. And then you have the angels too. But I'm talking uh, about that, that other order right. of creation is out there in that universe that is invisible to him, to us. Okay. So I guess in the same way that you have Satan and his angels, and they and they they occupy their you know, the you know, positions to, of Adam's in the second heaven. Right. So to speak. But. They've, they've also was, they've been here. They've been, they've here. been here. In other words, so it wouldn't be too far fetched to believe that they could easily go to, I guess, to, to the other planets and things, but at least the planets that we know about, Jupiter and all those things. Yeah, it wouldn't be a stretch to, would you think? Be, it wouldn't be a stretch. I, I wouldn't know quite how they, I mean, there are scriptures that talks about planets in a way, and I'm sure that might be some revelation in there yeah. if, if studied out with, right. the, you know, with that in mind. Because it is taught that Jupiter is Satan's <laughs> is Satan's uh, headquarters. Now, and, and it, I mean, <laughs> I don't ask me. Don't don't make me tell on nobody. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just saying it wouldn't be too far off of what we know of Scripture to say but that if they, can, the tea, sir, if they can, if they can, thank you. If they can, if these spirits. I mean, you know, the angels, and fallen angels, or angels here can occupy, like angels have been sent to God, from God to the earth, right. you know, to deal with humans. So I, I couldn't, I, I guess they could also be sent, you know, for whatever reason, or go yeah. to other planets too. So. Well, I mean, the fact that they can occupy other planets, that the fact that we can't see them doesn't mean that they're not right. there. Right, right, okay. Uh, you know, how those planets figure into everything. But I would say this, you know, we were talking, what, Monday night? Was it Monday night? No, it was Sunday. That the whole of creation. That was the answer I gave. <laughs> what is that? This guy told me, he says, he says, he's, he's a gay guy, he's my man. He said, even the most devout Christian can't, can't deny that there's life on other planets. You know, uh, I said, well, that, well, it could be, you know, who knows? I said, but um, I tell you one thing. I said, I said, we're, we're the only species of humanity because I talked yeah. about Adam then I said there's a fact that the Lord is gonna come back and reign off this planet right here yeah. so you know I told him he says well where do you get that from I said well that's from the Bible he says the Bible is just written by a bunch of men I said I said but all of it is all scriptures given by inspiration of God you know I just gave him the word yeah. and I just told him I said no matter what you say there's there's an issue with this earth and with this humanity that God is very much concerned about, so much so that he came and died for this humanity. Yeah. That's what I told him. I said, God came, became a man, lived on this planet and died just like that. He says, yeah, 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 I know. But uh, the point I was getting at though, regardless of whatever one may think, when sin entered the, the, into the world, I mean, all of creation was corrupted. Right. I mean, not just, you know, not just sin and death among men. Somebody said something, I saw in the newspaper, somebody, I forgot who it was, somebody made the comment about just looking at the moon is the reason why Jesus is going to make a new heavens and a new earth. Well, scientists were talking about the sun, too. That, yeah. that intrigued me that if, if you followed the way um, Darwin and all these other theories, everything's supposed to be getting better. They said the sun, the sun is should losing have cost. Up. It should yeah. have happened. Yeah. Right. yeah, all of that, you yeah. know. Yeah, the, the, uh, creation, I mean, the, the Word of God is true as far as the creation, and it's getting work, you know, it, it yeah. degenerates. Tell us tell tell something, is what it's called. Yeah. And uh, if it was going to have time. Uh, no, 
that kind of kinetics, um, um, It's an all, it all evidences, you know, the, uh, the corruption, the bondage of corruption. And that's amazing because you think about it, out of all the planets and the galaxies and all this. You know, the way they look at Mars. They, yeah. They're saying what it may have been at one time, right. a yeah. planet that uh, had water. And, and, but, I mean, it's clear sin is in the universe. And, 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 and here's the fact. The fact is, it originates from Adam's sin. Yeah. It's Adam's well, that in all men, I'm right, talking about right, in creation. all creation. Right, because God had God had done something to stop the rebellion. You know, when Satan rebelled, right, in heaven. the angels. But when He placed Adam and placed Adam over His creation, mm -hmm. and Adam sinned, then that caused sin to permeate. Did Adam? Universe. Did He put him over the creation? Of he put him over the entire creation? Well, or the, the creation of earth? Did he put him over the dominion of the earth? Well, when they said he put him over, he, he put him over his creation, yeah. uh, that would include. What, well, you know, you know what's proof for that? He was to subdue the earth, but the earth would exactly. become the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The, uh, the, uh, the uh, what's the, the central place when you, the command center. Right. And it makes sense the because the fact that we can, as men, Make rocket ships and then go to the moon and do that thing on the moon. I mean, that's that's part of that was part of God's creation, you know. Yes. So, oh, that's good. Yeah. Did you hear about Benny Hinn? No. No. He did. No. While I was in Hank Hennigan. Uh -huh. He was just listening to a Hank book. He, he was playing a little excerpt of uh, yeah. Benny Hinn yes. going to do a crusade in Nairobi, uh -huh. or one in Africa somewhere. Yeah. And he said, and he was talking, I was listening to the man, I can feel it, I can feel it, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to appear on the stage with me when I get there. I, I don't know, I feel it, I feel it, and he's been announcing that when he goes there, the anointing, and he's going to appear. People left their hospital beds to come out there. People died. Yeah. Coming out trying to get to Africa. In Africa? In Africa. Came out of hospitals, you know, and then you know just the, the tragedy of that yeah. coming for this healing because he's predicting these miracles come for these healings, and, and the Lord Jesus down. Christ is going to appear on stage with him. I well, heard him say well, this. That I mean, beats my just, round. Just, I tried to call you today, <laughs> and you, I got the appointment. But let me tell you something. I was waiting for Pastor Jordan, and I happened to catch a uh, big cow. I, 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 I almost, I didn't know whether, boy, I didn't know whether to crash. So. What did say? I'm, I'm, he, you talking about confusing people. He, it's just like he just make up stuff as he go along. He do. Oh, the <laughs> Philistines. We're, yeah, the Philistines. We the, the <laughs> Philistines is your next door neighbors, and you're the, you know, just make up some, and just have people just all over the place. And I just feel well, bad. The Bible don't mean anything. But I thank God Almighty that Pastor Jordan comes on right after. Remember we had that talk? I said, there's going to be some people who we call from this radio said mm -hmm. that I attend his church. And, and I heard Pastor Jordan. I, I mean, it's so thank God he's right there because this guy, it, you know what? Yeah, it's just it's similar to the Benny Hinn. But the Benny Hinn, that's, that's even worse. People dying on the way people there. Dying on the Benny way. said he saved 40,000 people. Saved them? Yeah. He saved them. What's he said, you know? Well. That's they why we have to keep just proclaiming the truth. Because these people hurt. They hurt. They, hurt. they trying to. I mean, they believe that the Lord was going to be on that stage and heal them. Because they know Jesus healed them. If he 
was what he claimed to be, he'd have went down to those folks that died trying to get to them. Yeah, raise them up. up. Raise them up. With the anointing of Jesus. But see, that, Jesus those are the kinds of things you want to publish out. I mean, you want to shout it out, let people know. Because he's got mega money. Oh, man, yeah. They got so much money. They got millions. People no, saying. Oh, but but what, what I see is the same thing. Our fathers, I mean, these people really are hurting, you know, wanting to want to be healed, want to know Christ. And he's sitting and telling them, oh, come, because Jesus is going to be on the stage Jesus with me. Jesus is going to be up here on the stage with him. He's coming back. And then people end I up dying. The only reason he came back is for all this <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's coming back to being there. That's why people don't read the Bible. No. Read the, Bible. the only reason Jesus Christ came back is before his wrath. Uh, you know, the rapture of the church out before yeah. his wrath. Uh, if he ain't going to do either of those, it never says he's coming back to heal him. Yeah, people were reading <laughs> from 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah. I was driving, and this, this, this van, this church van from Indiana said, We believe in Mark 16. And then they had dot, 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 speaking in other tongues, dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. So if you actually go read the passage, then you have the, the deadly, you know, mm -hmm. taking up the deadly thing, won't hurt, you know, raising the dead, those types of things. I said to myself, if I was an unbeliever, what would really get me and get me converted to this Jesus would be if I seen you raise my cousin Pookie mm -hmm. out of the casket, right. you know, bring the preacher while he's doing the eulogy, raise Pookie out of the casket, you get, some, you, you know, some, something's going to happen. I'll go close down every hospital. Something. Yeah. Go heal you know, it. Close the and, and my point was, of that was, if the Jews of the Pentecostal era, those Jews there, if they had to witness what was going on in the so-called Christianity today, as far as the science and stuff, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have been converted. They'd have run from. They'd have been like, "That's a farce." They'd have been like, "Forget that," you know? Because right. no power. It was right. no power. Right. That's a good point, though. I and mean, if if you have any kind of understanding, you should know that. Did you see something? No, I didn't see that. But if they really could do what they could, they said they can do. Yeah. And yeah. Everybody see, come out. You know, and, you know, I'm serious. Yeah, no, speak, see, see, the speak thing, thing about that is, 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 you know, the verses that they oftentimes appeal to says everyone. Right. It says all, everyone, not yeah. everyone. It says all, everyone. Yeah. But people who go to their meetings, can't even get to them. Mm -hmm. Only the only a select few. Good point. And Jesus, because he healed. Get to them. Yeah. You see, but in the scriptures, when they had when the, those healing ministry was going on, yeah. everyone that came was healed. So much so two that the shadow. Not just two people right. up front. So much so that the shadow, the word spoken, you yeah. know, those types of things healed the multitude. Yeah. Everybody. But I tell you, I give you a, a word of caution. And that is, you know, as God did with Israel, he said, even if someone came and did what they said they could do, right. you know, and it caused you to turn away from what's written, right. you see. Right. See, you got to remember, the bottom line is not because someone did seemingly do something, right. you know, that you, you know, like you say, we say, we, we issued a challenge, do it. <laughs> you know, what if they do it? <laughs> But say, I don't believe it can be done today. Well, I, I That's, it, it would have to go against what God is, yeah, what's going on today. It would today. go against the nature of what and God yeah. is doing, you know, the, the order of today. is out there. But I, I, I just put it to you that way because see, it's not so much that they can prove a miracle or healing. That, you know, that's not even really the issue. It's what does God's Word teach about healing and miracles today. Right. Because if someone should, and you know that they're going to come a day, Right. Where they're going to be lying, signs, and wonders. Okay. Uh, you remember Jesus said to some people uh, that came unto him, said, Lord, have we not cast out devils in your name? And what did Jesus say? Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity, for I never knew you. But there were people going about doing things in the name of Jesus. Now, was that, now that. Now those types of things won't start up again until after the rapture. Right. Right. But I'm just saying, though, people who go around doing things in the name of Jesus, uh, just because they lay they lay claim to doing it in His name, doesn't mean it's bona fide. 
And that's